Victor Von Doom, most commonly referred to as Doctor Doom, is one of the most iconic and beloved villains in all of Marvel Comics. He's a master of science and sorcery, a genius inventor, and a fierce combatant. Unlike many villains who seek power or control for its own sake, Doom's goals are rooted in a desire to protect his homeland of Latveria and to prove himself as one of the greatest minds in the Marvel Universe. Doctor Doom has more than proven himself to be the coldest villain in Marvel Comics. Like, there should be a flea on sight on this man, because bro is him. So I guess it would be more than fitting to dedicate an entire video as to why Doom really is the best Marvel villain. Doctor Doom has one of the most intricately put together origins out of all iconic comic villains to date. His origin was first revealed in the pages of Fantastic Four Annual 2 by Stanley and Jack Kirby in July of 1963, and even further expanded upon by Ed Brubaker in the Book of Doom six issue miniseries. Victor Von Doom was born in a Romani camp near Latveria and his mother delved deeply into dark magic practices, communicating with demons and using spells. Many people in Latveria faced persecution by the Baron. Victor's mother actually made a deal with the demon Mephisto to have the power to kill the Baron's men, but in return she would have to give her soul up to the devil himself, which is Mephisto. She ended up being killed by a dying guardsman and upon her death, her soul was then trapped in Mephisto's realm. The Baron's wife became ill and sought out Victor Von Doom's father, Werner Von Doom, to save his dying wife since Victor's father was a renowned medicine man. When the Baron's wife ended up dying from cancer, the Baron labeled Werner a murderer and called for his death. After an attempt to flee with his son Victor, his father ended up freezing to death on a cold winter night. Thus, when Victor then made all efforts to increase his knowledge for both science and magic in order to rescue his mother whose death he blamed on Mephisto, and swore revenge on the Baron of Latveria. At a very young age, Victor would combine sorcery and technology to create fantastic devices which would keep the Baron's men at bay and protect the Roma people. His intentions and slash inventions attracted the attention of the Dean of Empire State University, in which he sent someone to Latveria to offer Victor the chance to study in the U.S. Victor agreed to this, and while attending classes there, he met the likes of Reed Richards and Ben Grimm for the first time, who would later become Mr. Fantastic and The Thing. Doom became obsessed with developing a machine that could project the astral form of a person into an another dimension as he saw it as a way to free his mother's soul from Mephisto's clutches. Reed Richards tried to warn Doom about this as he pointed out a slight flaw in Victor's calculations, but Victor arrogantly ignored his warnings, feeling that Reed was trying to upstage him in some sort of way. After temporarily having an encounter with Mephisto, the whole experiment ended up blowing up in his face. Like literally, like the machine actually ended up causing an explosion which severely damaged his face. He was soon expelled for conducting the unethical experiment and then from then on, he blamed Reed Richards for the destruction of his face as well as the explosion. Victor then decided to travel the world and he eventually came upon a small Tibetan village of monks in which he quickly mastered the monks arts and disciplines so effectively that he ruled over the monks themselves. Victor then forged a suit of armor and gave himself the name Doctor Doom. As Doctor Doom, he returned to his homeland of Latveria to overthrow the leader and declare himself as the new king of Latveria. He succeeded in leading a revolution to take over Latveria from the Baron and began to use his country's resources in order to further his plans of world domination. A main reason as to why Doctor Doom is one of the more formidable villains in Marvel Comics is his overall skill set. Doctor Doom's most dangerous weapon by far is his intellect slash intelligence. He's considered one of the most brilliant minds and scientists on planet Earth pretty much on par with Reed Richards himself. Doom has constructed hundreds of devices, including a working time machine and robots called Doombots that are exact mechanical replicas of himself. They look like him, talk like him, and even act like him. Individually, Doombots have an advanced AI so that each one actually believes itself to be the real Dr. Doom. As a safety measure, each Doombot has a dampener program that is triggered whenever the real Doom would actually be near. Dr. Doom also specializes in all advanced levels of physics, robotics, Robotics, cybernetics, genetics, materials science, weapons technology, biochemistry, and time travel. He also has natural talents for leadership, strategy, politics, and even manipulation. He's been known as a highly competent electrical and mechanical engineer, even admired by Tony Stark Iron Man himself. His knowledge extends to virtually any scientific field, and his mind is said to work as fast as a sophisticated computer. His willpower is also off the charts due to how he's mentally able to resist psychic attacks from powerful mental telepaths like Emma Frost and mind control 
of a villain called the Purple Man. He's able to resist that just by using his sheer willpower himself. What really makes him dangerous in a physical encounter, however, is his ability to combine sorcery slash magic and highly advanced technology. Dr. Doom is a sorcerer with skills and magic matching that of even more powerful mystical beings in the Marvel Universe, making him a potential candidate for Sorcerer Supreme. Thus being that his sorcery and his level mastery in magic rivals that of Doctor Strange. Some of his magic abilities include mystic blasts, force fields, teleportation, dimensional travel, healing, power absorption, elemental manipulation, telekinesis, and to be honest, that's not even all of it, but I'd be here all day listing every single ability he's ever mastered. His suit of armor is really a work of art, however, as Doom's armor is a nuclear-powered computer-assisted battle suit that was magically forged at a monastery in Tibet you know, during his origin. The suit offers him a variety of enhancements, including enhanced strength, giving him the ability to go up against several heavy hitters like the Hulk. The armor is coated with a high strength titanium alloy enchanted with magic and has been shown durable enough to take blasts from the infinity gauntlet to point blank range with little to no harm. The suit also allows him access to concussive blasts, force fields, flight sensor systems, and vacuum resistance to survive in space, just to name some things. Dr. Doom's efforts all lead to him wanting to make the world a better place, believe it or not. Doom wants what's best for humanity and his desire to rule the world is based on his desire to fix it. It's just that he pretty much is willing to do whatever he deems necessary to reach that set goal, which puts him at odds with so many of the heroes in the Marvel Universe. In the story arc called Doom War, the Wakandan Panther God looks into an infinite number of futures and sees that the only one free from violence and oppression is that in which Doctor Doom pretty much rules all. There's also the fact that Doctor Doom's ego is insane levels, you know, gigantic. Like, you thought Tony Stark has an ego? Doom makes him look like a humble priest in comparison. Doctor Doom's most impactful storyline in Marvel Comics is his role in Jonathan Hickman's 2015 Secret Wars event. Doom essentially serves as the main threat of the story after the main Earth 616 reality and the Ultimates universe collided due to multiversal incursions. Doom used the power of the Beyonders to salvage and build a planet named Battleworld, which was made up of the remains of several realities that were already destroyed due to said incursion, and he pretty much ruled this entire planet under his iron fist. The Beyonders are a nigh omnipotent race which powers exceed the might of the Infinity Gem. They've been shown to be powerful enough to kill the Living Tribunal itself as well as wiping out multiple powerhouses such as Eternity and the Celestials of pretty much every universe. They can create and destroy stars on a whim and build whole universes. Doom pretty much transforms himself into God Emperor Doom using the power of the Beyonders and this pretty much serves as the most powerful incarnation of Doctor Doom in Marvel Comics. During his reign, Doom twisted the memories of Battleworld's residents until they could no longer remember the life before, you know, incursions in Battleworld in the Marvel Universe. And this storyline basically serves as the inspiration for the upcoming Avengers Secret Wars film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But it's going to be interesting to see how they'll adapt that story without Doctor Doom due to the fact that he hasn't been introduced into the MCU yet and how Kang the Conqueror serves as the main threat of the multiverse saga. And that pretty much sums up my analysis on why Doctor Doom is hands down the best Marvel villain we've ever got. We've explored his history, motivations, powers and abilities, and iconic armor. And it's clear that he's a complex and nuanced villain who has captured the hearts and imaginations of fans for decades. From his desire to protect his homeland of Latveria to his constant quest to prove himself as the greatest mind in the Marvel Universe, his mastery of science and sorcery, as well as his iconic armor, make him a formidable foe for the Marvel heroes and his complicated relationships with other characters have led to some of the most iconic storylines in Marvel Comics history.